guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 17 of So Up a Spider, so what? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. They would start with him talking in today's episode! over again but like oh no <laughs> oh child oh my god Now, like, the one thing I'm kind of hoping is that the next time these two fight, it, it's actually, we actually get a damn fight instead of her just coming down, killing Wakaba, technically. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. Well, that sounds like a fucked up way to die. I got a question. Why does she keep saying that? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, 
I don't either. The night first sickness now nightmare. But that would be this uh, uh, Wakaba, right? So now you're telling me that the woman in Shun's dream, but it seems that she wouldn't hurt anyone. I don't know. We'll have to wait and say. Excuse me. Yeah, but the thing is, like, he, cause he doesn't know that Wakaba's walking around right now, so she's not gonna be there. Yeah, big ass spider. And I mean, since, like I said, once again, Wakaba's not in there, so what else are they going to deal with down here? This is worth it. Yeah, because spider. Oh, yeah, we all know that big deal. I mean, because come on, damn, like, <laughs> how 
many times have you even walked like right straight into a spider web and you're just like <laughs> me I've done that several times and I fucking can't stand it Mm -hmm. and stay close there's a spider in it Oh, Now, see, next time, let's just start with Faye and then end with Shun. That's better because mm, nobody hesitates and then we're done and we can move on to the next fucking thing. But see, the weird thing is, why would everybody receive that title if only... Well, no, everybody played their part and did something. What's wrong? Oh, fuck. Well, they're spiders, of course. Well, 
when they say masher, are we talking about um, Administrator D? Oh, damn. But he asked a question! I mean, yeah. It's complicated. He has the right to know. But he didn't! I mean, damn, don't be hard on him! Hell, that's probably how this series is going. Everybody going to die and they're just going to get reincarnated again. I had to be walking in the back, right? Hmm. Okay, so who was that supposed to be? Okay. Yeah, but how are you gonna get out? We got rope. Walk up, damn. <laughs> I just, I can't take her seriously. What does that end? Child, oh my god. Hmm? The damn burger will take her. <laughs> oh shit. Poor baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. I mean, damn, she came nowhere. She was like, out of nowhere. She was like, bam, and then I'm leaving.
Maybe Sophia said something to the demon lord was like, oh, bet, like, mm, I got this. But then would you still have spider powers? You, you motherfucker. You, you can't do that. No, 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 no. So then what the fuck is she going to do? Is she going to move her body? Oh, no, because she could move the bo her body to mother. Because when she was talking about how they're doing, I'm guessing she had to talk about, you know... The other three, even though one of them went to Wakaba and came back very late, right, last week, but shit. Who knows what the hell she is going to do? I mean, damn, but... Yeah, the biggest thing is I want to know why the hell from last week going into this week and showing it over again, why did the Demon Lord come out of nowhere, kill her, and then fucking leave? Like, of course she possibly feels like there she's threatened by Wakaba, but... We're not explaining why. So then, okay, hold on. My thing is, the demon lord also has to be, she's got to be that girl that got bullied like a couple episodes ago. And not walk about herself. But then it makes you wonder, was the demon lord and walk about friends before they got, well, they all died and got reincarnated. There's still a lot of unanswered questions with this show, and I know we're we're very close to being done with this show. We got like a couple more weeks with this show before we are done so with this series. But I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I have no fucking clue. I, I mean, mm. So, okay, so now she's just going to go back and kill Wagaba again? Or is she just going to kill the body part? Of I'm confused now. Like, what, what, what the fuck is she about to do? Because, see, going with the way that they just showed this, it seems like, and going back to last week's, like, end credit scene, this moment felt like first before she was about to go kill Wakaba, and then the Wakaba scene should have aired this week. I don't know. I mean, because whatever the fuck she has planning to do next with all the spiders, because at the beginning of the episode, she has the spider monsters um, initially on her side. So it's like, okay, now with this scene at the end, what the fuck does that mean? Like I said, there's a lot more questions than answers, and and we're getting relatively close. Like, this is episode 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We got seven more weeks before we're done with this show. Hopefully we get this show done before I go on my vacation. Um, but, because, I, I, like, I, I cannot tell you what the hell is going to happen next, even with an after credit scene. That, because to me, that after credit scene makes no sense. Now, to y'all who have read the series and who knows things, maybe that makes sense to y'all. And, and like I said, I want to be a fly on the wand. I want to know what the fuck that means. But to me, it's like, that has nothing, it, it has something to do with what the fuck is going on. But it's like, this should have been on 
last week's and then last week should have came this week to seeing Wakaba getting her ass kicked uh, and well not really killed but just you know <laughs> fucked up but like what she's now going to go kill Wakaba again I, I mean what the fuck is going on with her in the situation of it because you're it's just like either the show isn't explaining it enough or it's like yeah you gotta go read that like fucking source material to understand this scene and it's like 100 percent or not even a hundred thousand fucking percent this it's like the show isn't explaining the uh, enough to like understand that little end credit scene it seems like it is but then at the same time it's not and so you're sitting here i'm sitting here wondering what the fuck does this mean what is she about to go do how the fuck is walk about i know she's gotta wait up to like hours maybe a day or two or three until she gets her entire body back but she was thinking about moving her whole soul from that to i'm guessing it has to be mother or at least someone else so then if it's someone else besides mother who the fuck is it gonna be like i said a lot of money answer questions but you know I, i'm gonna be patient i, I you know I, i'm a little mm, i'm not pissed off but i'm a little like kind of disappointed in, in that little bit and and i'm not saying that to be mean it's just like okay the way that they're like taking it or getting the message across from reading a source of material to giving an anime and an episode but not linking certain things and it, it, it's just a little confusing i mean damn like shit <laughs> i'm just saying but it was a damn good episode for what it was i just want to know like the the dream that shun had about the woman with the feathers like is she gonna pop up because something tells me she is what's the connection who is she what does she want um, why was she repeating, uh, what she repeated over again and then it hurt? So where is she currently in this series? Is she one of their classmates as well? If so, who? Like I said, a lot of unanswered questions that we probably won't know until like the next few weeks of the show. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 17 of So I'm a Cider Show. What? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 18. Bye, guys.